Ujiwani, and this is Kathy Chavers, Tribal Chairwoman, coming in with an update for this week. Um, it's sad to say, but we have COVID cases that are continuing to rise here at Boys Fort. We have had 10 cases just this week, and a total of 31 cases in the month of September. This by far is our most worst month. April had 21, and that was our previous high. We currently have 11 cases under 18 years of age, one case over 50 years of age, and four cases between the ages of 19 and 49. Boys Fort has 16 active positive cases of COVID-19, 12 were in Net Lake and four were in Vermilion. Since the, since the pandemic began, Boys Fort has, a total of, has had a total of 113 active and recovered uh, positive cases, with 55 in Net Lake and 58 in Vermilion. Recovered means they are no longer contagious and have been released from isolation. As a result, our tribal offices have been closed, but tribal members can call and make appointments to come and see anyone they need to see. And also, um, the medical and dental clinics and human services buildings are still open. But you, do are, you are required to wear masks in those buildings. Our COVID direct assistance payments continue to go out. To date, we have um, processed 1,645 applications for the amount of $2,303,000. We have put aside $4.1 million uh, of our U.S. Treasury monies uh, for this um, assistance payment. We are right now at about 54.92% complete. Boy, I'm tongue-tied today, my apologies. We are continue, continuing to meet weekly on our projects under the ARPA funding we are receiving. This includes not only the U.S. Treasury funds, but also includes funding streams to BIA, IHS, and other programs. There is also um, grant money that is coming down and we will be applying for those funds um, as soon as we can. We have done a request for proposals for RFPs, or RFPs we call them, on investment services, strategic planners, and grant writers. We realize that with this, this amount of money coming down that we need to take every opportunity to try and um, get as much money as we can here at Boys Fort because at some point in time these revenue streams will be um, minimalizing. Um, we have selected an investment company. We are now reviewing the proposals for a strategic planner. We have only allocated money for direct assistance in the Net River Dam project so far at this time. Uh, we have implemented our weekly tribal emergency response meetings. Uh, due to the increases in cases, and these will be held weekly now rather than bi-weekly. Beginning November 1st, we are also requiring all employees of the Boys Fort Reservation to include the government and businesses to be vaccinated with at least their first vaccine by November 1st, 2021. We will work with employees to obtain their vaccines by the deadline, for example, at Fortune Bay. We can send the mobile unit there if that will work out better for them as an example. We need to understand that funding agencies such as Head Start and others, um, and also CMS, who pays Medicare and Medicaid services to providers, are requiring anyone who receives their funding to be vaccinated. So we decided at Boys Fort to just vaccinate everyone. The Family First leave for our employees will be ending on September 30. Right now, we do not know if that will be extended by the federal government, so the Boys Fort Tribal Government decided that we will extend this for a period of one year from September 30 to September 30, 2022. Um, this program assists uh, those individuals that have um, either their children have COVID or they're caretaking for family members with COVID or they themselves have COVID with uh, um, two weeks of paid leave and then a percentage of amount for their uh, regular paid leave for a certain period of time. So it's very beneficial to our employees and we felt it was very much needed. At this time, I'd just like to say that we are seeing an uptick, huge uptick in cases. It's been our worst month. And uh, we realize that a lot of it is in our younger population. We hope that soon there will be a vaccine for the five to 11 year old kids. And um, once that happens, we, are, we will be ready to go. Um, we have talked to the clinic and once if the Pfizer vaccines um, are the ones, we will get those and be able to get them to our children. Um, we realize it is a, um, a right of people to have the, vi uh, have the virus, Oof. 
get a shot or not, but we really um, want to encourage individuals to do that. For example, if there's a child out there that gets sick and they come home to somebody that has an immunodeficiency disorder, um, that could affect that person um, almost to the point of death. And so we really need to think about others, not ourselves, with regards to the masking. Um, I do want to take this opportunity to say currently our powwow is on. Uh, it will be outside uh, for this fall in October at this time. And we really want people to be safe, wear their masks, social distance, and uh, use hand sanitizer, same protocols as before, but really um, be safe and uh, follow those safety protocols. It, it's very important because of this uh, Delta variant and uh, the, the, the it, it spreads very fast is what I want to say. And so it spreads faster than the original COVID-19 virus. So please, please get vaccinated and uh, I hope to see you next week with some better news. Have a good um, week and uh, Geeka Wabamin, G. Thanks.